Hello friends, I'm Muskan. I hope you all are doing well. Today we will learn about React Native image upload on server. How we can upload image on server and how we can get image from server. This is requested video by someone so that's why I am creating this video. How to upload images on server in React Native through API. So I will use node server for this image upload. In React Native, we will gonna use fetch with post request for upload image and get request for get image from server. For upload images and documents, we need to use form data. Header should be multi-part form data in case of upload images or documents on the server. So we will check everything in code also. This is the brief overview what we are gonna do today. This is the example code for upload image on server. So for upload image, we will use the fetch request and post method and we will add body because this is post request and in headers, we will only use content type multipart form data. And then I am converting response in JSON then return. This is the example code for get image from server. For this, we will use get method with a fetch and then we will return response. Flow diagram. First, we will pick image from camera or gallery. Next, we will upload image on server. Next step is save response of upload image API. So we will save image of response because we will use this response in get API. Use this response URL in get API. Call get API. Next, we will save response of get image API because we will get URL and then we will save this URL instead because we will gonna show this in image view. So this is the process which we will follow. So let's understand this with code. As you can see here, I have already created upload image.js file. Um, this is same component which I did use for image picker video. So if you want to see the full code, you can check that video. You will see the link on i button. So I just imported upload image.js in uh, app.js file and then I just copy same code from image picker component. Now I'm gonna create two more buttons here. One for save image to the server and second one for get image from the server. Now I'm adding one more button here in a table opacity with text save image on server. Once I save, you can see here save image on server is visible on the application. Now we will gonna create on press for this button and then we will save image on server with the click of this button. So now I'm adding on press here and in on press we have to add any function. So here I'm creating one function on save image. And this on save image I'm gonna call in this on press and in on press um, I will call upload image on server. So I am importing this from helper function. I will call here in on save image function. So let's check what is upload image on server will do. As you can see here, I have already created function in helper.js. In this, I am calling a post API with fetch and this is the URL of the API. In fetch syntax, first parameter would be URL and next parameter would be object and in this object, we can add method, body and headers. In my case, method is post. So in the upload image on server, we will use method post. In this body, we will send form data of image and headers, we will use content type multipart form data. In next step, I'm changing response in JSON and then returning response from here. 
if something is not work in this try then it will go directly to catch and console the error if there is any error or something now uh, what i will need in this upload image on server image data so i will add image data first i am adding a sync await because if this function will call then we should wait for response if we will not use a sync await we will not get correct response so i'm adding a sync await here and then for uh, form data i'm going to create a instance of form data and then in form data i will append some values like this um so here i'm adding condition for camera photo if someone click from camera then uh it will go inside if and if someone pick picture from gallery then it will go in else condition so in form data i am adding image key initially and then next parameter would be object and in object i will first add uri of image so it will be camera photo because in camera photo we will only get uri and next one will be type in type i am going to add some jpg image but if you want to create dynamic type here you can just take from your uri that your picture is in png or jpg or something we will create some another video for this one and then next we will add name it can be anything you can send dynamic name also this should be the extension of your image i'm using static type and name here but you can create dynamic also and uh, in else condition i'm going to follow same step just i will put uri as a gallery photo if someone pick from gallery what i did i append everything on form data from here and from here so now i'm going to use form data in upload image on server function as a parameter so this will be my image data which i am using here in body now what i will do i will take a variable called res and in res i will gonna save the response of upload image on server and then i will console of this response so that we can check if response is coming or not and what is the response so let's check this one and i will show you in the i will show this response in the terminal so now i'm going to pick image from gallery first so i pick this image and i am gonna click on save image on server now so this function will call upload image on server fetch api with post request i'm getting undefined network request failed because i didn't started server so let me start server this is the node project where i have created these two api post and get so i'm going to start server of this so server has started you can see here server is listening at 4000 and we are using port number 4000 here with ip this is the ip of my system and this will be the api i'm picking and save image on server can you see this one in response we are getting image uploaded successfully in response we are getting url also of the image so what i'm going to do is i will alert this message with res dot message so if i will upload this again you will get this message on success image uploaded successfully we will add next button for get image from server in this i will add on press and in this on press i will create a function on get image and call here 
on get image uh, i will call get image from server which uh, i have already created in helper function what this get image will do this will take a parameter image name which we are getting from the post request this url image name and the media method will be get and we will return response dot url and then uh, i have added catch so in get image from server i need a response dot url like response dot message so what i am going to do i will save response dot url in state so for this i will create a state response set response use it and now i'm going to use set response here and i will put response dot url in this one and then i will use this response as a parameter in get image from server now i will uh, add a sync await so that uh, we will wait till api will call and uh, respond and then i will save this response in a key image url and we will console this key so that we can see what we are getting in response so let's check this one let me refresh the application and this time we will pick image from camera now i will save first image uploaded successfully now we will get image from server can you see here in image url we are getting this image url and response and then we can use this url in image view so first we need to save this in and state so first we need to save this in state i'm gonna add image view and in image view i will add source and in source we will need this image so i'm going to save this in state uh, i have created state and uh, i will use set server image here and in this i will put the response of get image now i can use server image in image view so i will create condition if server image is there then it will show in url because we are getting url from the api as a response if we are not getting response then we will show placeholder image so i will add this placeholder image here if server image is not there then we will show placeholder image. so let's save this one as you can see we have placeholder image because we don't have server image right now so i will pick from gallery save on server get from server this is showing here because we are getting server image here so like this you can save image on server and then get image from server that's it for today Thanks for watching. If you like my work, please do like, share and subscribe.